Welcome back. Time to dive into the tropics quite a bit. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist John Dawson. This is our tropical update. We're here every day a little bit after 4 p.m. bringing you the latest on what's out there. We can't always dive into things nearly as much in a newscast, so that's why we always like these opportunities for you to kind of get to see what's happening and kind of know a little bit more in detail. And we've been tracking a tropical wave that's coming in off of the Africa coast. And again, set the perspective here. It is way out in the Atlantic. Here's the Caribbean. Here's the Gulf. Here's the United States. Africa, this wave just rolling off over the weekend, and it is got a long way to go before it really starts to interact with any sort of land, but it is beginning to show some more favorable signs of development. So again, the wave itself is here where we've got the X just off of the coast, and it's going to take another couple of days before it gets into a more favorable area of development. It'll be about a 50% chance. That's what the National Hurricane Center is saying that it could develop into something tropical over the next seven days. We'll just grab one of our major global models here to kind of get an idea of what we're looking at. This is the GFS, this blue area here, kind of representing that more organized area of showers and storms. It's not organized enough yet that it would be a tropical system, but it continues to move to the west. And again, this is taking some time. We're now over here. By the time we get to Friday, we start to see a little bit more evidence of having that center of circulation, that closed low at the surface. So maybe by the time we get to the end of the week, we'll have ourselves a tropical depression, maybe a tropical storm even, and we'll continue to monitor that and see that it starts to take a little bit more of a slightly more northern track to it. And for us folks here along the Gulf, we're rooting for it to keep going north. And I know we got a lot of folks who like to check in with our tropical updates as well that are in the Caribbean. We always like our Caribbean audience that's out there. You folks also are kind of rooting for it to kind of head to the north. The further north it can go, the more likely it would follow that track that we saw with Aaron and Fernon, in which this system would just stay out in the Atlantic and not really even make a, any kind of a major landfall. Now, I'm not already predicting that here 10 or 20 days out from when this might actually start doing anything. Just kind of giving you that idea that we like it when it starts to kind of creep to the north a little bit in its latitudes. And so we're rooting for that for sure. Climate Prediction Center still has that very large area out here in their two week development possibilities. So there's definitely a fair chance, at least a 20% chance that we would see something developing in that area. Again, that matches up exactly with what the National Hurricane Center is talking about. So we have officially made it into September. September is where we find the peak of hurricane season on September the 10th. And so we'll continue to see activity. Probably if you just look at the history books, continue to be any even more active, continuing to watch these waves roll off. We are also, of course, watching the Caribbean closely, watching the Gulf, watching those areas off of the East Coast in the western portions of the Atlantic. But everything's quiet right now, except for the tropical wave that's kind of rolling off. If you've been keeping track, of course, we've gone through six named storms in the Atlantic. We've got Gabrielle next on the list. So at this point in time, with a 50% chance of that tropical cycle and developing, I'm beginning to lean a little bit more on board and saying that, yep, that's probably going to be Gabrielle. So we'll kind of be ready for that as we're kind of moving forward. Now, YouTube is one of the best ways, I think, to watch our tropical forecast. We always get those uploaded, uploaded right after we record them here, usually about 4 p.m. Central Time every day of hurricane season. And while you're on YouTube and you've already found the Fox 26 page, just search in the bar there for meteorologist John Dawson, or you can even search for hurricane gear test. That's where you're going to see a playlist with all of my hurricane gear test segments, kind of giving you some ideas on how to stay prepared for hurricane season. So that's a good way to kind of stay engaged. We don't want to get just because we haven't had any kind of landfalls in the US recently to kind of keep us our attention focused. We want to continually to stay prepared. And as I mentioned, it happened to be on YouTube and you get a chance to click over and look for my page, Meteorologist John Dawson. That's always a good way to do so.